Okay, so I have five main regrets before I started my ACCA journey. I decided to make this video to help at least one person not make the same mistakes that I did. So if you're new here, my name is Conrad and I'm an ACCA student as the title and thumbnail suggests. So the five main regrets are going to be classified into three main categories. The first one being research, the second one being time, and the third one is money. So I was told from a matriculant that the only way to get your chartered accountancy qualification is to go through your local body first. To be honest, one of the biggest things that I noticed is that ACCA competes with the local qualification of CA. For example, where I'm from, it is BICA and CASA. The problem is that the universities and the schools don't tell you about the international qualifications when it comes to chartered accountancy. I actually went to these bodies and I asked them, listen, if I get my ACCA, will I be able to call myself? a CA and they said you're not allowed to call yourself a chartered accountant and that is also a point that I want to make for those of you who are struggling between ACCA and your local qualification. ACCA is recognized in more than 180 countries and I know that ACCA has something like 200,000 members which is just insane if you think about it. Okay so next up it is actually about my practical experience. Before I actually jumped in and decided to do my ACCA I needed to figure out what practical experience do I need to do? Oh yeah, a not so lack of thing about this whole experience is because I'm working at a school. I'm not even doing auditing work or anything like that. So it is a bit difficult to apply some of the knowledge and that has given me a bit of a confusion about like how to log my PR time and so forth. So we're moving to part two now, which is the time aspect of it. For those of you who don't know, let me give you a bit of my backstory. Before I started my ACCA this year, I went to do an accounting degree in South Africa. I was in university for three years in South Africa and I did it as a full-time student. It was during COVID and it was quite a difficult time in my life. Sad to say, when I moved back home to Botswana, they actually told me, listen, your accounting degree means shit. It doesn't mean anything. Now you can imagine a guy like me that's a bit OCD about where and when he spends his time. Someone telling me that the last three years of my life was wasted. So when I was doing research about my local qualification, this is where ACCA saved my life. I needed to go and get some exemptions. Basically what they said is that, sorry Conrad, you are not going to be able to get any exemptions. You're going to have to start from the beginning. When I applied on the ACCA website, literally within a day or two, I think it was three days, they sent me back my results and I got something like six exemptions. If I could choose, I would rather than have started with my ACCA. So if you wouldn't mind, please can you just give this video a like and subscribe subscribe it apparently helps the algorithm a lot the last category is money and in this category there are two regrets so if you were smart you would listen carefully listen properly 700 and 69. For those of you who don't understand that joke, that is literally South Africa's president. The first one is not budgeting separately for my exams. See, so it isn't like a normal university and I know this might sound stupid, but when you pay for enrollment, you have to pay your exams on top of what you're already paying. And if you're from a third world country, pounds hit you a bit hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that exchange rate isn't favorable. The last one is something we all get pretty fed up with, is buying these expensive textbooks and not having to use them anymore. Because I am in Botswana, importing books from the UK costs a shitload of money. Luckily, I found a loophole around this and I'm not really gonna mention how I did it, <laughs> but I'll probably explain it in a later video for those of you. No, I'm not gonna say anything now. Still, printing these books cost me 200 bucks, which is obviously a fraction of the price, but it's just for one subject. If you are starting, please consider buying these textbooks secondhand if they are still relevant, because I don't know they seem to get updated per the exams and I mean there's an option between either repaying your car or buying textbooks if you're not studying ACCA yet and the things that I've spoken about in this video quite resonate with you then I'm going to make a video that is going to be on the concept of is ACCA the right thing for you to study if it's not out yet watch this video but if it's out already I'm going to link it here I'll see you in the next video cheers